Hello, in this video I want to show you this very rare book that I have. It's super cool. It's called Mathematics Essential to Electricity and Radio. This is an education manual. See there it says EM972. Selected and prepared by the editorial staff, United States Armed Forces Institute for use of personnel of the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard. Hardcore, right? So this, this institute, the United States Armed Forces Institute, was founded in 1942 and it no longer exists. That's pretty much all I know. Um, I read about it on Wikipedia. There wasn't much there on Wikipedia, but it no longer exists. And you could take courses from them and you could take a test and get some type of certificate and stuff. So, um, yeah. And there was different ways to take courses from them. You could do it, um, I think you could have been all over the world. You could take it in a classroom setting through self-study. I think there were, there were different options available. This has answers as well. That's a, a characteristic of a lot of the books that are selected to be reprinted by the United States Armed Forces Institute. <laughs> it's a long name. Because they would pick books to be reprinted, and so they would usually pick books that were really good. So, yeah. I have a couple uh, of books that were by the United States Armed Forces Institute. I, I collect them. So, um, yeah, 1943... Wow, this is World War II era, right? This is like during the war. War Department, whoa, what is this? Wow, wow. Yeah, crazy, right? Crazy to think that there was a war, right? I mean, it was just, yeah. The basic principles of mathematics contained in this book have already been expounded in many textbooks on the subject of mathematics. However, Electrical and radio engineering students have a need for a course in mathematics that is directly concerned with applications to electrical and radio circuits, I see. So that is the goal of this book, perhaps. Let's, let's, let's look at the contents. It's got math in it. And it's mostly basic math. It's got some interesting things that you haven't seen. Here it talks about how to get the test. There's different ways that you can get the test or that you could have gotten the test uh, when, when this existed. Um, I, I've read all this, so it's, it's, it's kind of interesting. It just tells you like how to do it, to mail a form in and stuff. It's, it seems complicated. Nothing has changed, it's still complicated. <laughs> so things are still complicated. Yeah, so really basic topics as you can see, right? Nothing really out of this world or anything. It's just all basic mathematics, let's turn the page here. My copy is very fragile, so I'm gonna be very careful with this book. You see it's falling apart. Ohm's law, resistance, special products and factoring, fractions, equations containing fractions, more Ohm's law, graphs, exponents and radicals. Okay, what's over here? Quadratic equations, Kirchhoff log, logarithms. I mean, it's got a lot of mathematics. And again, usually these these education manuals. I'm a big fan of these. Um, <laughs> they are. Uh, they usually have, I mean, the, the books are usually really good. I even have one on philosophy. But they're, they're really hard to find on the internet. I'll, I'll look for this. If I can find any copies of this, I'll, I'll leave a link. I don't think I'll be able to find any, though. But, but check, because I might have, I'm, you know, sometimes when I find this, there's like one copy of the book, and it's like $6. <laughs> and then people click, like, there's no book. I'm like, there was. There was a book there for $6. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> So, yeah, here, here are the answers in the back of the book. And that, that makes these education manuals really good. Not all of them have all the answers like this. This is, yeah, I think these are all the answers. Some of them have the odds. It just depends on the book that was reprinted, right? Because these are actual textbooks, right? These aren't books written by people in the Army. These are, these are books written by, you know, mathematicians uh, and physicists and, you know, experts in the field. I'm going to smell this. Ah, uh, it smells like a musty... Musty comic book. Yes, it does. Yes, yes, indeed. I like these books. It, uh, it's surprisingly good quality. I mean, it's falling apart, but um, they, they, do, they do hold up quite well. Division of complex numbers. Oh, this is fun. Look at this. So what do you notice there that's different? And I think you already see it. 
It's a J, right? What's with all the J's? These are complex numbers, right? So they use J. That's fun. I always thought that was fun. I don't know why. But uh, it's common. I have a book I was looking at earlier today. It's uh, a book on, on worked examples uh, in electrical engineering, and they also use J. Like right at the beginning, they talk about it. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Circuits. Yeah, I mean, I've seen this stuff in physics. You know, physics is uh, where, where I've seen this stuff. So, yeah. The circuit stuff. There's some exercises. You could definitely use this book for self-study. Um, yeah, it's definitely good for self-study. You could probably get the original book, by the way. So if you can't find this, I'll look. If I can find the book, I'll leave it. It's, it's by Cook and Orleans. Okay, it's Mathematics Essential. So that's the actual book. This was reprinted, I believe, right? This is reprinted for for the United States Armed Forces Institute. So this is the actual book you can get. Uh, if you can find the education manual, that's even cooler. But a lot of times the books are really inexpensive too because uh, I haven't looked up this one, but I have an algebra one and I looked up the price and there was tons of copies available. I'm like, wow, it was like $6 for a book, $8. I'm like, wow, there actually are copies. And the reason is that these people, the United States Armed Forces Institute, they would pick the best books. They would pick popular books that were used and reprinted multiple times. That means there's still plenty of copies available for sale today. Um, so that might be the case with this one, although this seems a little bit more specialized. I mean, I don't have any other books with this name. I mean, super, super unique. Yeah. Look at this, wow. This is like a gold mine of problems. Look at all these exercises. Oh, it tells you what to solve for. Yeah, wow, right? That's pretty cool. It's a ton of problems. Tons. These are called literal equations or just equations with variables. Um, I mean, there's so many here, right? So many math problems. It's awesome. What a cool book. I like books like this. If you want, like, just do a couple math problems, you can pick up a book like this and just do like five problems. Be like, yeah, okay, I've done some math. I feel good. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I'll look for it, and if I can find it, I will, um, I'll leave a link in the description. And again, it's, yeah, that's the name of the book. Also, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, use my links. My links are available on my website, which is mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. And also in the description of any of my videos, you can find the links to my courses. Because when you use my links, um, I lowered the price, so you should get a low price, and uh, it helps me greatly when you use my links. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.